Let's discuss the measures of variation of ungrouped data. Okay? So, as you can see, I already, I'm already done with this. So, let's discuss first the measures of variation. So, that is range. So, for range, we just need to get the highest score and the lowest score and get the difference of it. So, highest score minus lowest score, 25 minus 7 in this group. Okay? So, meaning... The distance of the highest score to the lowest score in this given set of data is 18. Okay? Next. So, the next measures of variation is the mean absolute deviation. So, for mean absolute devi de deviation, so let's just get this summation of x minus mean absolute value divided by n. Okay. So, I'm already done with this. So, the first step here is to get the mean. So, I already uh, got the mean here. So, that is 16.75. But how to get the mean? So, let's just add this. So, 23 plus 25 plus 12 plus 7. Okay? And divide it by N, by the number of the data. So, summation of this divided by 4. So, 16.75. And then after getting that, since you are guided here, so we have X, okay, which is representing the, the data. So 23 minus 16.75 is 6.25. And then for our future use, uh, let's square it. Okay, so 6.25 squared is 39.0625. Okay, so after that, I took the summation of this. So... That is 29. There. There is 29. Divided by N. So, what is our N? Since each data represents one person, so let's uh, just count. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, divided by 4. So, 29 divided by 4 is 7.25. Five. So, meaning the absolute distance of the scores to the mean is 7.25. So, this is our mean absolute deviation or MAD. Okay, next. Let's compute the next one. So, population variance. So, for population variance, let's have this formula. So, summation of x minus mean squared divided by n. So, since I already computed the x minus mean here, so let's just get the summation. So, that is 224.75. So, 224.75 divided by n, which is 4. So, 224.75 divided by n, which is 4. So, that is 56. So again, for your final answer, get the two decimal numbers. Okay, so since the nearest number here is 7, which is 5, I mean greater than 5, so plus 1. So 56.19. 56.19. Okay, next. So meaning, population variance, so... The square distance of each course to the mean. So, that is 56.19. Next, let's have the population standard deviation. So, PSD, population standard deviation. So, let's have summation of X minus mean squared over N and get the square root of it. Okay? So, basically, what do you observe? So, we are just going to get the square root of this number. So, 56.19, 56 I'm sorry, 56 point. So, how can you get the square root? Uh, look at your calculator. So, this, do you have, you have the square root sign, okay, the square root symbol. So, this is it. So, 56.19 divided by, I'm uh, sorry, 56.19, the square root of it. So, that's it. 7.50 Okay Next 
So that goes the same with the group B and C. So let's get the mean. So this is for group A. Let's get the group B. Let's just fold it one. So again, the first step, get the mean. So our mean here is so 40 plus 35 plus 27 plus 16. So that is 118 divided by 4. That is 29.5. Okay, next. So x, so we have 40 as our x minus 29.5 29.5 that is 10.5 Be careful the next square it square sorry so 110.25 So uh, same step okay paulit ulit lang 35 minus mean 29.5 5.5 square 30.25 27 minus 29.5 So since absolute value take away the negative so this will become positive so 2.5 squared 6.25 Next 16 minus 29.5 So 13.5 And square So it will come 182.25 Again summation Of this For the math Okay So 10.5 Plus 5.5 plus 2.5 13.5 So that is 32 So be careful Double check 13.5 Okay So that is 32 divided by 4 So 8 Next, summation of this for the population variance. So, 110.25 plus 30.25, uh, sorry, 30.25 plus 6.25 plus 180 point. So, that is 329. Again, divided by 4. Divide by 4. So, that is 82.25. So, this is our population variance. Popul mean absolute deviation. And lastly, so to get the uh, population standard deviation, just get the square root of this. So, square root of 82.25. So, PSD. So, that will become 9.07. Okay. Last, group C. So, group C. Okay. So, again, mean. So, 49 plus 65 plus 35 plus 27. So, 47, 1, 49, 65, 35, 27, divide by 4. So, our mean is 44. Okay? So, this is just the same step from this group. So, uh, wait for a few seconds. I will give you the measures of variation of this group. Okay? Okay, I'm done. So, I already have here the measures of variation for group C. Okay? So, let's analyze this given data. Okay? So, based on this. So, first question, which group do you think is the most sped up? 
Okay? Which group is the most sped up? Okay? Let's refer to the standard deviation. Okay? So, 7.50 for group A. For group B, it's 9.07. And for group C, that is 14.10. So, as we all know, the definition of population standard deviation is distances of the score, okay, from the mean. So, meaning, the higher the standard deviation, the farther it is from the mean. So, meaning, the most spread out here is group C, okay, most spread out, group C, okay. Next, uh, which group is the nearest to the mean? So, nearest to the mean, okay, meaning... The difference of the mean to the population standard deviation or any measures of variation is low. Okay, so what, which do you think? So it is 7.15. So that is group A, which is nearest to the mean. Okay, how about the farthest? And then of course that is group C. Okay, which group is the most heterogeneous or meaning heterogeneous they are or they are they are almost different or they are different okay so which do you think which group so that is letter group letter c okay thank you everyone for listening so i hope you listened well and you pass the exam okay god bless you all paxet bonum